Nicole here and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Nicole's Weekly Words. This week I have decided to focus on words that include the word rum. <laughs> so I've got a few wonderful expressions. Um, before we start, this is live, so please tell your friends to join us. I'm here live on the Facebook page, Sydney English Teacher. I'm here live in my Facebook group, The Successful English Learner by Sydney English Teacher. And I'm also live on my YouTube channel, The Successful English Learner. So quickly tell your friends to join us. I'd love for as many people as possible to be here. Um, yeah, let's begin. <laughs> so today, as I said, we're focusing on words and expressions that use the word run. The first one I've chosen for you is on the run. So have you heard of this one before? If you hear someone say on the run, it means that you're doing um, two or three things at the same time, basically. You're so busy, you're in such a hurry, I suppose, that you don't have the time to sit down and focus on each task um, separately. You have to multitask. So a lot of the time we use this expression when we're running late perhaps and we don't have time to have lunch or to have breakfast. So we're driving the car and we're eating breakfast at the same time or we're you know running down the road down the street and eating our sandwich. <laughs> we're on the run. So we're in a hurry, we're doing a few things at the same time often used with eating breakfast, lunch or dinner because we usually do that, we don't have enough time, but often used when we're running late and we're multitasking. So someone might ask you the question, um, have you had lunch yet? Oh yes, I had lunch, I had it on the run, uh, on the way over here to the meeting. Um, or what are you doing for dinner tonight? Oh, I won't have time to have dinner at home. I'm going to grab something and eat it on the run on my way to the cinema. <laughs> so on the run, great expression. Let's try and use that this week. Another wonderful expression with run is run wild. Hmm. <laughs> so if someone runs wild, it means that they're being quite naughty or silly when you're talking about children. It means that nobody is controlling them or their behavior. They're just ah, going crazy. <laughs> so they behave badly. They're not controlled. Their um, behavior is not suitable, I suppose you could say. Um, so that's what happens when someone runs wild, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a child. You know, anybody can run wild. It just means that they're not controlled, that they're going a bit crazy and doing whatever they want. Um, so you might even say something like, the protesters were running wild on the streets. Hmm. Or um, his imagination ran wild and he came up with some amazing ideas. Or if you're going to talk about a child, you could say she um, was allowed outside for the first time in weeks after being sick and she absolutely ran wild. <laughs> so that is the expression to run wild. Let's have a look at another expression with the word run. And this one is to run yourself into the ground. Have you heard of that before? Well, if you run yourself into the ground, it means that you are absolutely exhausted. You're so tired because you are doing too much. You are working so hard and doing 
so many different things that you get yourself so tired or maybe even sick as a result. So if you run yourself into the ground, think of it, here's the ground and you're running, 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 bang. Eventually you'll hit the ground. Eventually you have to stop. Eventually um, you can't keep running. You can't keep working that hard. Um, so you might say something like, we ran ourselves into the ground trying to meet the deadline. Or um, we ran ourselves into the ground trying to pack the house and move before we had to give the keys back. <laughs> So something like that. Um, if you run yourself into the ground, just think of it as you're doing too much. You're over exhausting yourself. Um, something I'm sure we can all relate to in this crazy, busy world where we've always got so much to do and not enough time. Time to take some time for ourselves. <laughs> the next expression with run is to run around in circles. Have you heard of that? If you run around in circles, it means you've got a lot to do um, and you just can't do it all on your own. You know, your to do list is so long that it's impossible to do every single thing. Um, so you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and you don't feel like you are um, achieving anything. You don't feel like you're finishing anything. You're just going around and around and around and around and there's no end point. Um, so you feel that you're wasting time, I suppose, or um, wasting energy on doing things that don't get results, on doing things that... Um, you can't finish, I suppose. So that's what's happening. You're running around and around and around and there's no stop. There's no end point. So you might say something like, um, we've been running around in circles trying to prepare everything for the dinner party tonight. Or you could say, um, she ran around in circles all day long, um, getting everything prepared for the presentation. Um, so there you go, around and around and around. <laughs> um, the final expression that I want to talk about today, which is using the word run, is if something runs in your family or runs in the family, and we usually use this to show that um, many members of the family have this similar talent or characteristic or interest or um, even health um, problem, health situation. They're all very similar. So, you know, you could um, say, asthma runs in the family or runs in our family and that means that many people in our family have asthma or you could say a love of music runs in the family or playing the guitar runs in our family um, so really there are ways to show that something I suppose is passed down from family member to family member whether it be an interest like you all like music or you all like playing the guitar or singing whether it's a characteristic that you're all very bubbly and happy all the time or angry <laughs> Whether it's a talent, so you can sing really well or you can um, kick a ball really well or throw the basketball in the hoop really well. It just means that your um, ability or skill or talent or your interest or characteristic or even health is shared by many members of the family. So you might say um, playing basketball runs in the family or loving soccer runs in our family or the ability to, to sing pretty well runs in the family. <laughs> so there you go. We've got five really great expressions today. On the run, run wild, run yourself into the ground, run around in circles and run in your family. Um, your job now is to use these expressions. So watch the video again after we've gone live and take some notes 
Alternatively, you can join my Facebook group, The Successful English Learner by Sydney English Teacher. I'll be uploading a worksheet there that you can download. It will have um, an explanation of each of these expressions as well as some example sentences and room for you to take your own notes. So come on over to the Facebook group and you can download that there. Um, yeah, so your job this week is to use these expressions. You don't have to use all of them every single day. Focus on just one or two expressions. And yeah, that's what we're going to do every week from now on with Nicole's Weekly Words. I hope you've really enjoyed focusing on run expressions and that you've learned something new. Even if you already know the expression or you've heard it before, the reason why we are doing this is not just to learn it or to find out about it, but to use it. So even if you've heard the expression before or if you already know it, your job is to use these expressions this week and to use them correctly. So let's challenge ourselves, have some fun, learn some vocabulary, practice using it, come back again next week and I'll teach you five more great new expressions and words. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>